This is a lesson for the physics, page 1137. Problem number 50 on page T. The problem says, what would the high temperature need to be if a steam engine were to achieve 50% efficiency and the heat sink is 100 degrees Celsius? So we know that the efficiency, which I just abbreviated E, I know E is supposed to be energy, but we're going to just abbreviate it for the sake of not writing it out. Efficiency, if it's 50%, we could write that as a decimal, 0 0.50, right? You follow that. T2, it tells us, is 100 degrees, which is Celsius. So we have to convert that to Kelvin. And we're solving to find what the T1 value would be. So from the pace, we know that this is the formula for efficiency, T1 minus T2, and then we divide that answer by T1. So the difference between the temperatures divided by the, the temperature, the T1. <clears throat> well, we're going to first solve to isolate T1 before we start plugging in a bunch of numbers. Um, at the back of the score key in the solution guide, they have a different process that they go through to solve for T1. But to me, it seems a little, I don't know, a little hard to follow. So I solved it a different way, came up with the same answer. So I'm going to take this equation, multiply both sides of the equation times T1. And so we get this. Okay, that eliminates the T1 as the denominator and gives us just T1 minus T2. On the other side now, I have T1 times the efficiency. Then I'm going to subtract the T1 from both sides, which brings it over here to the left. So now I have T1 times efficiency minus T1, okay, equals, and then what's left is negative T2. But now I want to factor out the T1 from both of these quantities. So when I factor that out, remember reverse distributive property, I get T1 times this quantity E minus 1, which is efficiency minus 1, equals negative T2. Now I can divide both sides by E minus 1. Over here, that'll cancel out, and voila, I have solved for T1. T1 equals negative T sub 2 over E minus 1. And I am going to stop there and let you finish this problem, because you can just plug in the T2. You can plug in the 0.5 for the efficiency, which is going to give you a negative number in the denominator, and then remember, two negatives, top and bottom, will cancel out. So you will literally have the T, um, well, you'll plug in T2, so then when you cancel that out and solve, you will have the T1 value as a positive number. And then just remember, the last step is you have to convert T2 back into degrees Celsius. Okay, hopefully that helps you with this somewhat challenging problem.